For too long, the Philippines has been described as having an underdeveloped economy of immense potential. In this decade, perhaps more than any other time, it finds itself on the threshold of vast possibilities. If things remain as they have been, the economy could get stuck in a middle-income trap, unable to grow rapidly into the high-income status that is being attained by more and more of its affluent neighbors. However, if crucial improvements are implemented now, the Philippines could be one of the fastest growing economies in the world over the next several decades and can significantly reduce poverty. With more rewarding opportunities at home, Filipinos would have less reason to work abroad. Fact. Despite a dynamic population and a land blessed with natural resources, economic progress has been slow. The biggest challenge facing the Philippines is to move the economy to a higher level of growth and job creation. Fact. Although located in the world's fastest growing region, the Philippine economy has long grown slowly. China, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan, and Thailand have grown an average of 7% for over 25 years. India and Vietnam may eventually join this group. Fact. With a labor force of 38 million and projected to reach 54 million by 2030, Creating new jobs and giving students and workers needed skills are major challenges. Fact, remittances of Filipinos abroad increased 187% in nine years to approach $20 billion and will soon be the country's largest source of foreign capital. Fact, Philippine FDI inflows are the weakest of the ASEAN 6. Over the last decade, the Philippines received only 4.5% of total FDI of the ASEAN 6. Fact, the Philippines is being left behind by most neighbors in too many measures of competitiveness. Efforts to reverse the trend must be sustained and intensified to produce a more positive result sooner. Fact. A proven strategy to achieve higher investment and increase exports and jobs is to prioritize economic sectors with high growth potential. With its position within ASEAN, its large, youthful, English-speaking population, and improved access through free trade agreements to fast-growing markets, the Philippines is situated to attract large FDI inflows that can create millions of new high-quality jobs in agribusiness, information technology and business process outsourcing, creative industries, infrastructure, manufacturing and logistics, mining, tourism, medical travel, and retirement. So what does Arancada mean? It's a Filipino word that means to accelerate. What will it take to get the Philippines out of the middle income trap and grow into a high income economy and reduce poverty? The Philippines needs to move twice as fast. Arancada. Catching up and keeping up is simply not a choice. It's an imperative.